Kenya National Bureau of Statistics Director General Zachary Mwangi has defended the credibility of the 2019 census results released on Monday, even as leaders from various regions rejected it. During a media briefing on Thursday, Mwangi explained that the agency counted people where they found them on the census night and not based on the regions, counties or constituencies. The census was on a de facto basis that we counted people where we found them, not where they usually live. The DG said he will be engaging with leaders to explain to them how the results came about, adding that population growth or decline is determined by fertility, mortality and immigration. Issues to do with data protection, data privacy, issues to do with confidentiality, all those would be taken into consideration. So let's not anticipate because we, Parliament also would need to be also to be sensitized, so that we can, as a nation, continue to engage, so that uh, uh, we can disseminate the results to each and every Kenyan in this country. Leaders across the political divide have so far dismissed the results, claiming they are not a true reflection of the numbers on the ground. Some vowing to move to courts. We are also not satisfied with census results. That is number one. Because of logistics issues, uh, most of our people in the county were not enumerated. The Kenya National Bureau of Statistics is set to release a detailed thematic report explaining how migration, mortality and fertility have affected populated areas across the country. I urge the public also to, also to give the Bureau a bit of more time so that we can also generate the other additional reports which would help you better explain the changes that are being observed in these census results. The breakdown of data up to the sublocation level, as well as age and sex, will also be captured in the detailed report. Kenya's new population, as announced by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, now stands at 47.6 million, with women accounting for 50% of the population. Angela Cheror, K24, Evening Edition.